First of all, I want to ask you about Punk and McIntyre. That was obviously what most of us were looking. That was the one I was the what was the most interested in watching. Phil definitely he hasn't worked in he didn't work in a long time when he worked. Like he came back off an injury, worked that fucking Royal Rumble and and it was injured again. Correct. And like when there was that physicality between Punk and McIntyre Punk wasn't cleared yet. They hadn't cleared him yet. There's one at one point McIntyre dumped him because he's. I think Punk said, "Put me down," and McIntyre dumped him. And fucking, I know that fucking that the person told me that they were right right next to Paul, and Paul was not real happy with that whole fuck like Jesus, mm-hmm. dude. So he wasn't cleared, and that was maybe three three or four weeks ago. Yeah, so. it was recent. Yeah, so for him, and he's not a fucking spring chicken. For him, like, you can't get in ring shape besides getting in the ring. Like, there's just yeah. no other way about it. So unless Punk's going to go on the road and... Build up to this. Yeah, by putting and, in you're, the hours, and the, you're the, not going to do that. It's, it's your age with the fucking wear and tear yeah. that you've got. So you go to the PC or wherever, I don't know where he went, but he went somewhere, and the problem with that is when you get to a certain point in your life, it's like you can't fucking go to the fucking performance center and go through it. You can't go 100%. There's no people there. There's no incentive. It's You can run the ropes. You can do tackle spots. You can... Work on your off, but you're not going to go out there and fucking do a bunch, and you're definitely not going to bump as much as you would in a normal match. And the schedule's not such now that you can no. do five house shows a week. Nope. Off no. TV to get ready for then, what's happening in a month. And then anything that you do, the whole thing is that you you can't put them against Drew. So anybody he's working with on the on the circuit looks like like a B team warm up. It's almost like he's getting ready because I don't think Drew was working on the house shows during that time. There aren't enough of them either where where they'd be able to not be on television and, and work that consistently. Yeah. What about the use of Seth? What did you think about? I think it was, I thought the promo work that Phil and McIntyre did going in was like really strong and the psychology of how they wrestled the match didn't fit the buildup. I thought they would just go at each other, like right off the bat, and it'd just be a brawl. Mm. They'd fight everywhere. I thought that's what they were going to do. By bringing Seth out there, Yeah, he's over enough, and he's been around enough where it's just like they're outside doing spots, and he's in the middle of getting the people to go, whoa. I'm like, not on the same page. Right. But I did like like when he did the late on the ropes and let whatever happen. I thought that was cool. No, he played his character, but it's just like they're going to get as much as they can out of that angle. They weren't going to pay it off at SummerSlam. That's for damn sure. Mm. Now when you're getting a clean at the, in the finish and claiming Gunter was clean, they're all not clean, but technically they're clean. And so, yeah, it's just, I don't think it was the, <clears throat> I don't think anybody was happy with that match that was, that was involved in it. Mm-hmm put it together i was disappointed from a just a a spectator standpoint but from one of the boys standpoint that's come back from injuries that's about and you're not fucking 30 it's that's a fucking that's a tough road for phil and to to fucking i don't give a fuck who you are how many times you've done it you're going out in front of 57,000 people at SummerSlam and you ain't worked in nine months, you cannot get your fucking lips off your teeth. <laughs> your dry mouth is a motherfucker. It's, you talk with him at all? Oh, I didn't get a chance to talk to him. I was hoping I did. 
So I saw, now- I saw him for, for a split second walk in front of me, and he was like noticeably was bigger than I've seen him. That's the biggest I've ever seen him. Biggest F- physically. Okay. You Working know. out biggest. Yeah, he was still soft in the middle, which I was kind. Of, but some guys just don't. It just genetically just don't. Let me ask you a question, though. In the context of coming back from the injury, I get it. I get what you're saying and what's being asked of him his first match back. But what about in the context of his having said, like, the long-term contract comment, working there forever? Yeah, doing no, Shawn I— Doing Michael's jobs. And, I, and that was my whole thing. And I've, I said it to a couple of people that, that we were talking about that match— after it was over, I was down at the bar and I was talking to some different people. And I said, "Industry people, bef- yeah, okay, yeah." And I said, "Not trying to be a dick or anything. Maybe you get your pitch fucking count up to thirty before you ask for a six-year extension." <laughs> like, f- fucking hell, man! That's the best I got. You want six more years of that? No. Good. Ace Ramon, did your opinion of Punk change after seeing the the Wembley footage? Because you were helping him for a while and calling him a bully. I personally think Punk was right about things in AEW. So this question, we, we this is that thing that we watched. On. Yeah, this is a question for a couple of months ago. Yeah. But, well, yeah. Obviously, if you listen to the show tonight, you would, you would see that I have a different opinion on yeah and but the, we, but we all agreed that the wembley footage was a very big non-event yeah it was, it was <clears> bullshit <throat> and the thing was is i never understood why you would show something that would get the people to chant cm punk on your show and make everybody else look like a fucking asshole that's on your show no yeah I, I i didn't get that uh anyone else from the audience wild Wero. I must go to the gym twice a day due to being homeless and wanted to be clean. Should I do cardio in the a.m. and lift in the p.m. or lift a.m. and cardio p.m.? Lift lift a.m., cardio p.m. There you go. For your hypothetical situation, Wild Wero, welcome. Sorry you're homeless, but I mean... But the, the confusing part is that if I must go to the gym twice a day due to being homeless. Yeah. So they got showers and shit there. It's, easy oh, up, oh. Okay. it's way cheaper to come up with a $30 gym membership than it is to fucking stay in a $100 hotel. All right. You can, wild have, that gym, you can, you can have that gym for 